Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this very simple episode, I show you how to add the moon to your photos. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. My name is Serge Ramini. I'm a French photographer from the amazing, the incredible city of Paris, France. Right now in Los Angeles, California. A few days ago, we had a blood moon that was amazing. A lot of photographers were talking about it. So I had the idea to create this fake photo of putting the moon in New York. And actually, it happened to be my most liked photo ever on Instagram. I want to show you how I did it. I want to give you the source files. I want to give you the moons. So you can do it in your own photos. All you have to do is click the link below the video, sign up, and you can get it right away. It's entirely free. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm going to make two videos per week, hopefully this year. I have a lot of new stuff coming up. But right now, let me show you how you can add the mood in your photos. All right, guys. So I wanted to show you uh, the story behind this photo. This is something that I posted for the uh, super moon that we had last Sunday night. And um, this is actually a completely fake photo. It's a composite and I actually want to show you how I did this. Uh, the actual photo that I took that night. Uh, is different, but this photo got 5,222 likes on Instagram, which is the highest I ever had. Uh, so that night I actually shot this one and this one. But this one is fake. I think it's funny and I'm going to show you how to do it. Plus, it's a great way to learn Photoshop. So I'm going to go here in Lightroom. And this is a photo that I shot from the top of the rock, looking down the Empire State Building at 134 millimeter with my 24-240. So it's pretty zoomed in. And then I shot this moon a couple of years earlier uh, with a 70 to 300 at 300. Okay, and we're going to blend both of that. But first, let's do some a bit of retouching because this is a raw file. It's completely not retouched. So I'm just going to open up the shadows, bring down the highlights. I'm going to do my black point. I'm going to do a white point. And maybe, you know, just add a bit of magenta, yellow. I want to make it really warm. Maybe a bit of clarity so it's very sharp. Uh, and um, let's see, yeah, the photo is very sharp. I'm going to add to it a little bit of sharpening. And usually when I work, uh, I start uh, to work in Lightroom, a bit of sharpening. I'm going to do my masking, which is using the masking tool. The, you know, the masking works is basically uh, anything which is black is not going to get sharpened. I can see there is some dust, so I'm going to use a, the visual spot here and uh, get rid of this dust. And this is probably a star, but... That's okay, I'm gonna get rid of it anyway. So we have a clean photo. Usually what I do is I go into edit and open a smart object in Photoshop. By opening up a smart object in Photoshop, I can you know uh, do other things to it if I want to. So here I am in Photoshop. Now this is my moon photo. This one uh, right off the bat, uh, let me reset it. What did I do to it? Yeah, I just opened up the shadows. I, add, I wanted to make it a more red. Uh, so maybe add a bit of yellow like this, make it uh, boost the whites a little bit. And same thing here, I'm going to go right click, edit, and open a smart object in Photoshop. This way I got two smart objects on the top of each other, which is really cool. So here I am in Photoshop, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this moon here, and I'm going to drag using the move tool this over to this so the moon is here and uh, you know it kind of looks weird so how do we do it well we have blending modes in Photoshop and what do I want I want a blending mode that's going to erase the black and basically just let the moon go through so here I go screen and look at that the moon is there we just have a problem is that the moon you know is uh, basically uh, you know we need to mask out and uh, if you look at the Empire State Building the Empire State Building is very, there's a lot of details going on, so we need to do a good mask. So the best way to do that is make sure you're on the layer where you have that. And then you take the um, W for the uh, Quick Select Brush tool. Since this is like a pretty, uh, you know, big sky with no details, you can just go here. Um, and look, it, it did already a, a great selection. I want to make sure, because that's where the moon is, that is great there. So you have to go to the Select and Mask tool. The Select and Mask tool is going to show you how your mask is. And um, right now, I don't see much. One thing it's that's very important is that in the view, you have different options like black and white, 
uh, onion skin, marching ants. I love. I like to use overlay because with overlay, you can see both. You can see what's not selected, which is normal, and what is selected, which is in red. If you go to black and white, it's kind of hard to tell if the mask is good or not. With red, I find it's better, but you see we are missing a lot of details here. Well, there's a brush here, uh, which is right here. This brush, you see it has like sort of little hairs and things. If I, uh, I'm gonna make it a bit slightly bigger by holding the control and alt key on my keyboard, and I'm just gonna brush where there is details missing and the brush is gonna pick that up, no problem. You see now everything, every little detail of the Empire State Building is in red. It means that it's selected. Maybe we can add that little antenna and we are good. So I'm gonna press okay. So now I got a good mask. So all I have to do now is basically go back to the moon and click here on create a mask. And because I have an active selection, the moon is there. And if I wanna move the moon somewhere else, uh, you can click on the moon, but if you start moving it, uh, it's gonna look weird because it's gonna move the mask with it. So command Z to undo. Uh, command Z to undo. What you can do is click this little lock here and now if I move it the mask is going to stay in place and I can move it wherever I want. I think I actually might make it slightly bigger because uh, I think that's what I did in the original photo and I want this to match even better and remember we've been using um, uh, smart objects so I think uh, I'm going to double click on the original smart object which is the CD maybe add more contrast to it uh, a little more vibrant and make it a little bit brighter something like this even warmer maybe voila and then I'm gonna do the same thing since it is two smart objects so which is really cool um, so it just has to it takes a bit of time okay and I think I want to add more details on the moon. So same thing, I'm going to double click on the smart object. I'm going to add more contrast, maybe more clarity on the moon and press OK. And that's going to update that smart object, which should make the moon uh, more visible. And voila. Now the thing that's very important to me is to crop the photo because I think there's too much going on. So I'm just going to crop the photo. I really want the star to be the moon. Uh, of this photo and also I, I want to make it at uh, Instagram format because uh, that's what I did originally Instagram format is 4 by 5 I can go here 4 I put in 4 and put in 5 and uh, now I'm just gonna crop this photo I only want the uh, that's how I did it I, I only want the Empire State Building the moon and the one Freedom Tower uh, to be in the shot something like this and press enter and also the fact that I was like at 150 millimeter when I shot this, I forgot how much I was. Let's check on Lightroom. I think I was at 147 millimeter or something. Uh, yeah, 134 millimeter as a 240. The fact that I'm zooming in is going to make it that this Empire State Building is going to be like if I shot it at 300. That's why it kind of matches well. Anyways, uh, I'm giving you the, the, this moon. You can add it with this technique in any of your photos. Uh, if you do, please tag me at, at uh, photo search. I would love to see what you do on Instagram. Okay, let me check compared to my original photo. So uh, yeah, I cropped it more there and uh, I think I added more blue to the photo. So I can go here and I can crop. I, you see that, that line here, I got rid of that. So I'm just gonna crop a, a bit more so we don't see that. And, and again, I think in the overall look, uh, I'm not going to change the colors. I actually like this sort of yellowish that I did. I could add more blue, but you get the idea. Then you can do whatever you want. Yeah, that works better because we're really like focusing on the Empire State Building, the one uh, Freedom Tower, and just the moon. Uh, voila. Have fun putting the moon in your photos. All right, guys. I hope you learned something in Photoshop doing this. Photoshop is such an amazing software. Don't forget to download the mood. Don't forget to put it in your own photo. And I will see you in another episode. Mesdames et messieurs, au revoir.